For Team Single, please welcome to the stage, Janine Garoppolo! Thank you. Well, a couple of things first off. I think there's been a reductive paradigm here about it almost like a Sex and the City episode has been playing out here about Mary and single. Uh, let's have a transcendent identity, transcendent gender, uh, in, in, if that makes sense. Uh, I saw it in, the, in, a, in a micro and macro way. Hopefully I haven't alienated or confused by saying that. But I, I, it's not just about being married and all that, but I would like to, I do uh, have some similar thoughts that, uh, with Carrie, if I can piggyback. Um, when you say consulting about purchases, one of the reasons I've not wanted to be in a long-term relationship is because I don't want to be forced to hide purchases. It's not about consulting, it's about hiding purchases. <laughs> How do I get this item into the home? <laughs> not my partner knowing, thereby undermining our unspoken fiscal contract. <laughs> and also, I've never wanted to have children because I'm risk averse. It really is that simple, I'm risk averse. Who could have factored in the Slender Man for crying out loud? <laughs> You could be, no, there's no more loneliness than in a group or in a relationship when somebody you feel misunderstood. So I think lonely, we can transcend that. I'm not mad at anyone, I'm just speaking in strident times. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, so also I think the reason that there's a pause after the marriage is the vocal intonation. It's a Pavlovian. Uh, so I've been married for 10 years. It's almost, people just, it's vocal intonation. So I don't think there's inherent value on the, I'm just speculating. Okay, so, now I'm going from, uh, in the bigger picture of, of personal sovereignty, uh, agency, liberation, being a person on their own, but you can be together, you know what I mean? You can, you can be a part of a larger community, and in fact, I would say it's, people that are on their own that are more likely to be advocates, more likely to move toward action because they're not fearful of their, you know, uh, with children and things like that. I, I can't, I, I don't want to say anything that will get me in trouble at school, you know, things of that nature. I think that single people, uh, it's not even about an apocalypse that's coming. It's, it's climate chaos, no more bananas, <laughs> no more honeybees, uh, things of that nature. And the grid, when the grid goes down, and it will, <laughs> and everything will be thick milky. Yes, I saw Blade Runner 2049 again. <laughs> uh, it, it's so much better to be on your own. The anxiety and the fear that you have for your children when <laughs> this happens. Uh, I feel so relieved that I, I, I just have to worry about me. I just one go back, roll of cheese it, roll of cheese it, it's a superfood. <laughs> Full, uh, more resource. I have enough Cheez Its and sugar free Red Bull and Diet Sun Kiss. Uh, I don't have to, you know, worry about rationing, so I will be able to help others. Because I, uh, you know, have a, all the, and also I walk very fast. That's a value initial statement. I'm not bragging. I'm a fast walker. I can't stand how slow other people walk. And you're gonna need to move it. You're gonna need to walk with me. You need to walk with him. And also, luckily, cash will be king again, because I can't stand being forced to use credit to buy tea or a cup. It's a, it's a, Susie Orman, first of all, wants to use cash. I'm not, we don't have time to get into Susie Orman. But she prefers to use cash, quite rightly. And now a lot of places use credit. And then when you, you know, Say, well, why? Why do I have to use credit in case we get robbed? Oh, now I can't say anything. It's like talking about Israel. I feel bullied. <laughs> and, uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's just, I, I think, and, and also one of the things when you're on your own, you don't have to get physicals. You don't have, you know what I mean? If you're, not, if you're only worried about yourself, you don't have to do self checks of any kind. Uh, don't have to go to doctors. Don't look for trouble. Don't look for trouble. Don't look for trouble. I was in Malaysia two summers ago, stabbing, stabbing pain, stabbing pain for four weeks, but I ignored it. It did the right thing. It went away. Because this area is a real gateway can of worms. It's a gate can. It's a gate can. Right? That would have been just the tip of the iceberg, and it's the hidden ice that'll fuck up your boat. That's history, not just the Titanic. Just leave it. I don't don't get massages. Two reasons: face holes, so uncomfortable. Yes, <laughs> cannot 
my purchase in the face hole. <laughs> and also, I don't want a masseuse to be manipulating me and then go, hmm, hmm. Did you know? What, whatever it is, I know myself well enough to know that I'm, I'm not gonna beat this thing. It's not in me. <laughs> I, I, I just, it's not in me. I gotta, I gotta be able to walk quickly with my Cheez-Its and uh, I, can't, I can't get involved with that. I think my motto in life, in certain ways, and this is not a cynical, I'm a pragmatist if nothing else, but lean away. Lean away. Because if you lean in, you're too close, you lose perspective, you can't move. You can't be an activist as much, you can't stand for what, up for what you believe in because you're worried about the backlash and all of that and what your kids at school and all of that. And after the age of seven with kids, it's diminishing returns. I mean, everybody loves a baby. Everybody, we all love a baby. Fat baby, fat baby foot's going right in my mouth. So I'm not, so I'm not made of wood. <laughs> and also, now I have unfortunately, as a comic, I'm very proud of being a comic, but unfortunately, uh, uh, there was a fluke in the 90s and acting became involved. But I had a hunch it was a fluke and I didn't buy anything. 99% uh, of SAG AFTRA is doing jobs that they are embarrassed by. And they do it because they have children and they have enough to cover and they have mortgages. I do not have that. I don't have to be the therapist on SUV. I don't have to be the tough but fair judge that's had it up to here with you already. I'll allow it. I don't have to be the sexually ambiguous cop. Head nurse that just wants the best nonsense roles, nonsense roles. I don't have to do it, I don't have kids. So, so, do you see what I'm saying? Because if you have kid, children and a mortgage, you gotta be that therapist in, on SVU. <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's no good. It's no good. You don't want to do that. Okay, and so, uh, yes, yeah, so I did that one. Oh, okay. Now, has anybody seen the Ken Burns documentary, The Walking Dead? <laughs> Ken Burns, Jazz Age, Baseball, Civil, Ken Burns, Roosevelt's The Walking Dead. He's been chronicling what's going on in Atlanta. Walkers, Revenants, The Infected. It's on, it's on AMC, not PBS. Maybe that's why you're confused. But it's, it's a pandemic in Atlanta. And that very well could happen here. Uh, now, say uh, I'm at home on my own, with my own personal sovereignty and agency, and I am of service. I have the time to do that with the animals and the causes, although a lot of times with the clipboards, I do say, it. already a member, and thank you for the work you're doing, but I'm not. But it's, uh, and I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of that. But if you bring out what is destroying you, it may save you. If you leave it in, it will kill you. Guy Ferry said that. So, but it does work, it works. But I am a member of it, not everything. And, and, uh, Actually, you know, this is a sidebar. I'm, the, it, I love a sporty toad. Listen, I'm, I, didn't even mean, I didn't even mean to discuss this. I'm bent at the waist. It's like I'm whispering. I'm embarrassed. I love a sporty toad, unironically. I love a sporty toad. <laughs> and I uh, am a subscriber to PBS. And I also give money at the, at the fund drives. That's a value-neutral statement. But I don't take the toad. I don't take the toad because I want the money to go to the programming. But I, I've had it up to here with PBS. I've had it up to here. Knuckle Supper. I'm taking to Fist City with Miss Loretta Lynn. I love Loretta Lynn. I'm thinking of Sissy Spacek. But I, I love Loretta. But I'm thinking of Sissy Spacek, but I'm under the impression I love Loretta. But the program, why do you pay for PBS to watch rich people doing things? Solving crimes, running across the moors, making a Victoria Sponge. End of story. You do not. Uh, I've had it. I've had it. All the affiliates. Uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer, Brain Health. And also Metro Focus. It's like Diner's Dreams, <laughs> it's never done. And, and uh, my music, the 1950s, I like that music. But my point is this, I'm gonna take the tote. There was no reason for me to waste your time <laughs> at, at all. But see, I have a disposable income to, to pay for programming for PBS, to, to be a member of Amnesty and, and the ASPCA, not, not the Save the Children as I pretended I was, that's true, on Broadway today. It benefits none of us. It benefits none of us for me to lie to you to create content. I don't have to. I live on a sim And actually, I've lived with my boyfriend for this, in the same one bedroom apartment for 22 years, but that's more about real estate. That's not about, <laughs> it's about real estate. And you know what else I don't have to do? I don't have to approach the door going, please don't be home, please don't be home, please don't be home. As many of you do. And that's natural, that's normal. But it's, isn't it wonderful when they're not home? <laughs> it really is. It's great. And 
I don't wish him ill. I, I, I don't want him to be there anymore, but I don't wish him ill. I want him, I, I want him, I want him to be spirited away to some place he loves, like Chipotle or Guitar Center. But see, this is the thing, in summation, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hack, hack stuff, I wish it <laughs> Beneath all of you. But the, my point is this, there is a traditional uh, value placed upon uh, marriage, or being a community, like date, all this stuff. It is, is, it is as much a old leftover tradition, a flawed paradigm as network television and that, that don't walk under a ladder, it's bad luck. It's, it's that, it's that, it's, there's no reason to be married and, and have children. You can, I mean, but it's not an obligation. I know you thought of names in college, you wrote one on a piece of paper. It's not a, a contract. It's not a binding contract. It's like, but I want a name on this name. You can adopt pets. <laughs> and they will be more helpful when the grid goes down. Because the pets have, they, they will be more helpful. But honestly, it's a, it's a it, you, there is a freedom to, to enjoy one's own company, but even being, and, and you even contradicted yourself, and I like you very much, I'm not mad at you. And I love their eyebrows. Ridiculous. Perfect. Perfect. My eyebrows are my water loop. We don't have time. Uh, we, have, we just don't have time. Uh, but you said, you said we're all going to go it alone. After you talked about people working together and committing. To committing to each other. We're not alone. We are together. And all three of us, now you're, you're very young and that's why you're more interested in, in sex and stuff. That'll change. Um, and boy, will it change. You'll have a spike in your early 40s, late 30s, but then you don't have time. Some of you don't have time. And it'll free up so much intellectual uh, and you'll, you'll be very pleased about it. But, uh, I do think there is a strong history and tradition of People that are not in traditional relationships, Emma Goldman, I mean Rosa, Rosa Luxemburg, Emma Goldman, Howard, not Howard's in to get married, Ralph Nader, uh, don't fall. That's why you have seatbelts. He's been an advocate for you since 1965. Uh, and that election was stolen, it had nothing to do with him. I don't think the Republicans won legally since 1968. But uh, I do think that, the, that there is a wisdom to not feeling the peer pressure of like trying to fit into whatever these old paradigm, marriage is an institution or, uh, that was in the 12th century when people lived to be about 23. Okay, that's fine, I throw my hat in the ring. <laughs> but now routinely people live to be about 90. It, it's untenable. <laughs> it's really, it's untenable. And, and it doesn't have to happen. You can live with people and have to be fluid or be polyamorous, but also there is nothing better than Coming home and nobody's home. <laughs> it really, really is fantastic. Anyway, thank you.